In recent times, discussions and debates have emerged regarding the possibility of total debt forgiveness worldwide. This radical proposal could have profound implications for the global economy and heavily indebted countries. Let's explore this idea and analyze the potential consequences of such a drastic measure. The Global Debt Scenario The global debt scenario is complex and comprehensive, encompassing debts accumulated by countries, governments, businesses, and individuals worldwide. The magnitude of these debts is staggering, with trillions of dollars in public and private debts in circulation. At the country level, many nations are facing a significant increase in their public debts due to factors such as excessive government spending, economic recessions, financial crises, and international borrowing. These debts can have a negative impact on economies, affecting investment capacity, economic growth, and the well-being of citizens. Businesses also accumulate debts for various reasons, such as business expansion, long-term project investments, working capital needs, and even po-financial management. These debts can increase the vulnerability of companies to economic shocks, making them more susceptible to bankruptcies and insolvencies. Arguments in favor of debt forgiveness In the face of this scenario, proponents of total debt forgiveness argue that this measure could bring significant benefits. One of the key arguments is the relief of economic pressure on heavily indebted countries. By eliminating or drastically reducing their debts, these countries would have more resources available to invest in social programs, infrastructure, and economic development, stimulating long-term growth. Furthermore, debt forgiveness could boost global economic growth as heavily indebted countries would have the opportunity to restart their economies and attract foreign investments. This could generate a multiplier effect, driving global demand and creating new trade and business opportunities. Another argument is that debt forgiveness could promote greater global financial stability. The reduction of excessive debts could decrease the risks of financial crises, reduce market volatility, and strengthen investor confidence. This financial stability would be beneficial for debtor countries, creditors, and the overall financial system. However, it is important to consider the challenges and potential consequences of total debt forgiveness. Among the challenges is the reaction of creditors, who may incur significant losses. Additionally, there is a risk of encouraging irresponsible borrowing behavior in the future if debtors do not learn from past mistakes. Additionally, total debt forgiveness can affect confidence in the financial system, leading to unpredictable consequences. Financial markets rely on trust between creditors and debtors, and total debt forgiveness can undermine that trust, making future borrowing and investments more difficult. Another challenge is determining who would benefit from debt forgiveness. Clear and fair criteria would need to be established to ensure that relief is directed towards individuals and countries in genuine need avoiding injustices or undue favoritism. Furthermore, total debt forgiveness can set a dangerous precedent, encouraging other countries, companies, and individuals to accumulate debts irresponsibly, hoping to be forgiven in the future. This could lead to a culture of financial irresponsibility and undermine the sustainability of the global economic system. It is important to highlight that there are different possible approaches to addressing the debt problem, such as renegotiation, extending payment terms, and reducing interest rates. Each case should be evaluated individually, considering the specific circumstances and potential impacts on all parties involved. Viable Alternatives there are viable alternatives that can be considered to address the debt problem without resorting to total forgiveness. 
Some of these include debt restructuring. This approach involves renegotiating the terms of the debt, such as payment deadlines, interest rates, and amounts owed. Restructuring can enable debtors to better manage their financial obligations, making payments more realistic and sustainable. This can be done through bilateral agreements with creditors or with the support of international financial institutions such as the International Monetary Fund IMF. Renegotiation Renegotiation involves direct negotiation between debtors and creditors to reach an agreement that benefits both parties. This can include extending payment terms, reducing interest rates, or even converting the debt into productive investments. Renegotiation can help alleviate financial pressure on debtors, allowing them to restructure their finances and avoid economic collapse. Partial Relief Measures These measures aim to provide some form of financial relief without fully cancelling the debt. This can be done through reducing the principal amount of the debt, temporarily suspending payments, or implementing grace periods. These measures can provide immediate relief and allow debtors to recover economically before resuming payments. While the idea of total debt forgiveness worldwide may seem appealing to some, it is essential to carefully consider the implications and challenges involved in this proposal. More realistic and balanced alternatives can be explored to address the debt problem sustainably and promote long-term healthy economic growth, 